So I got like a little summary here of the, somebody did like a cut up compilation of uh, Kanye's thoughts. So Kanye had said that he practices Chinese water torture on himself. This is the from the interview with Alex Jones when he says that there's a lot I love about Hitler. Yeah, there's a lot I love about Fred Hampton. I love Fred Hampton. Oh my God. Fred Hampton and Frederick Douglass, Che Guevara. Oh my God. So let's talk about just a summary of his thoughts because I'm it was pretty entertaining in terms of just, you know, but I think that's that's a problem for America. We like watching train wrecks. But you gotta ask yourself fundamentally, you know, for the virtue, for the, you know, goodness of the culture and therefore of the leadership. If we're all watching a train wreck, is is that good for the republic? I think it's good for the republic that our trains, you know, make it to their destinations on time, right? We don't need train wrecks, and we don't need to be a bunch of people watching train wrecks. Maybe just videotape it. You know, you could just watch it for the minute that it happens, and then you know, get back to work, right? You don't want trains wrecking. You don't want trains derailing. You want trains to be able to go from point A to point B. And uh, there's no commotion and there's no excitement. That's more for like Hollywood, right? We, we, we just want to watch the Hollywood train wrecks. Because if we all just stop what we're doing to watch all the train wrecks, you're going to have nothing but train wrecks and a bunch of assholes watching them. Right? Yes. So he kept on. Let's just, uh, no particular order. R.E. Emanuel, he keeps on talking about R.E. Emanuel. I'm not for sure. Guess that he's some, he's a, uh, Instagram. He says that the, they're doing sex trafficking. Instagram is, uh, something about sex trafficking on Instagram. You got to watch out for that. You had Alex Jones talking about his Hugo Boss uniforms. I think their uniforms are crap. I think they were ugly ass uniforms. Alex Jones asked which side Kanye West would have been on during World War II. You know, that's Adolf was I guess we had a segregated society, but Adolf was racist. He kept praising Jesus, telling everybody to shut up, and then the praise Jesus. We all just got to find Jesus. Shut up. That you're not being Christ-like. What would Jesus do? Well, Jesus would be an anti-Semitic prick. Jesus was Jewish. So since Jesus was Jewish, that means Christianity is Judaism 2.0 and Islam is Judaism 3.0. And what's Judaism 4.0? Atheism. He said that Netanyahu was a puppet. Some of his commentary on Netanyahu was kind of funny. He was talking about how he could be a misogynist. Mossad. He kept on talking about Mossad. Him mocking Netanyahu. That is kind of... You're not allowed to criticize Israel. Even if they're still in the lands of Palestine. Because if you criticize Israel, then you're an anti-Semite. You shouldn't be an anti-Semite. But you also shouldn't steal land either, right? He suggested that Netanyahu was in the pedophilia. Says that Netanyahu kills people. And Kanye thinks that maybe Netanyahu might kill him and take away his children. So I think he might be talking about a conservatorship or something. Keeps on talking about the Jews being the owners of the banks. How he loves Hitler. How he is a Nazi. He straight up says he is a Nazi. Later on he's going to say he don't really care about the Jews all that much. Even though he had just talked about, you know, just kind of talked a whole bunch of crap about him for two to three hours on Alex Jones' show. Hitler was into his 23-year-old niece. There was, you know, there was rumors but Geli Rabal, and then she's going to get shot and killed by 
Hitler's revolver. Because of Hitler, because of one of Hitler's, uh, you know, sycophants. Shut up. Praise Jesus. Shut the hell up. Praise God. Shut your fucking mouth. Praise Christianity. Throwing the table. Throwing the tablets. He said something about throwing the tablets. Everybody shut up. I'm throwing the tablets now. Like what? Throwing the tablets like Moses? He did talk about how Obama killed Palestinians. He was right about that. You know, stop clock is going to get right twice a day. So Kanye is a stopped clock. Let's see. Practices Chinese torture on himself. He said that Hitler was born Christian. He says that George Soros needs to come to Christ. He's talking about how he's under the Jewish floorboards now. He's the one being curb stomped. These are all metaphors, but I guess if you're, you know, a billionaire and then you're being debanked, I mean, that, that stops your whole life, right? Whatever Kanye West was working on and doing, he's, he doesn't have a bank now. So that's how the hell is he supposed to make any money without a bank? There was twice he deferred to Nick Fuente. Twice he deferred to Nick Fuente. He said, isn't, isn't it good to get Middle East peace? <laughs> Alex Jones asked Kanye West, isn't it good to get Middle East peace? And I guess Kanye didn't want to say yes to that question. He said, I'll defer to Nick on that time and another time too. He was like, if you put them all in a box, just put them all in a box. And he was also anti-fornicators. Nick, can you get this one for me? What was the other one? Do you, do you want Middle East peace? And then they asked another, oh, they were asking about Bitcoin, FTX. He asked kind of a complicated question. He was like, hey, Nick. Nick kind of just laughed. Well, I mean, it is them, right? Back in 2018, you had that Nick Fuentes. He's, you know, he's ready with the, with the talking of his racism and sexism. He, hey, racist, you want a microphone? Hey, racist, sexist, anti Semitic, homophobic, hater, discrimin discrimination, Mr. Discrimination Man. What are your thoughts about the world? Mis Mr. Discrimination Man, can you uh, share with the world what you think about the world? Alex Jones had said that Hitler had killed people, jailed people, killed people, targeted people, and then... Kanye shot back that, well, Obama killed Palestinians. America's been killing Palestinians the whole time since 1948. Israel's running an apartheid state. They're stealing Palestinian land. We believe in a two-state solution. The United States policy is a two-state solution, but Israel can't help themselves. They keep taking Palestinian land. There's a strict border, but Israel doesn't care. They want that land over there. There's this encroachment. The idea is that all of it is Israel. There isn't a two-state solution. They're going against America's two-state solution policy. And that included Obama. That includes Bill Clinton. That includes, you know, George W. Bush and um, Donald Trump and Barack Obama. Joe Biden. Yeah, there's that um, Shireen... Uh, that Palestinian, that was just uh, the journalist, straight up killed. She was like a, uh, a journalist for 20 years. They knew who she was. They targeted her. They said that it was in the middle of a gun battle. There is no gun battle. You know, during negotiations, sometimes it's good to start high, and then that way, you know, when they try to meet in the middle. But sometimes during negotiations, you could just say something, you know, outrageous, something so fucking outside the norm. Like, how much do you want to sell that Snickers bar? Even if you're, like, starving, like, I want your whole house. Give me your inheritance for a Snickers bar. Yep. <laughs> One million dollars. You get a thousand bucks. You might think you're doing, you know, 
in terms of negotiating how much you want to sell that Snickers bar for thousand dollars, I'll give you a buck. All right, here you go. <laughs> because he said it was, you know, so fucking much. Maybe he didn't want to sell the damn thing. Or, you know, it was so far high, he wasn't going to get 500 bucks. He wasn't going to meet in the middle. So he said something ridiculous, outrageous, fucking, you know, some bullshit fucking number. And so that's what, what am I trying to say here? That That's somehow connected to what I was saying here. Well, yeah, I'm not going to sell a Snickers bar for $1,000. I think that's the point. And, it, and fuck anybody who, who thinks that you should. Jelly Roball, he's a fucking, he's stupid, he's a pervert, or he's suicidal. Basically, the only thing people can be talking about when they talk about the Confederacy or fucking Hitler is they're a bunch of racist piles of shit. Yeah, okay, because like who, why don't you ask them, who's the Chancellor of Germany today? <laughs> they will not know. Oh, okay, you're you're all about Hitler and Nazis, huh, Kanye West? Who's the Chancellor of Germany today? What do you think about their Federalist Republic, huh? What about the Hesse, Hesse, uh, name, name a state in Germany? Can you name a state in Germany? Can you name the three branches of government? What is the Seventh Amendment? Do you even know him who invented highways? It was an American, Vanderbilt. Did you know that, Kanye? Who invented highways? An American named Vanderbilt up in New York City on Long Island in 1908, three decades, four decades before your boy fucking Schittler came up. Ari Emanuel is not Ari Schaefer. Ari Schaefer is like kind of a funny Jewish comedian. Ari Emanuel, I think, might be like MSNBC. Kanye said he never heard of DeSantis. I've never heard of DeSantis. He didn't have a message for Trump. You got a message for Trump? He was just silence, radio silence. You got a message for DeSantis? I've never heard of DeSantis. I'm being curb stomped right now. It's like a dog ripping off my arm. I almost shed a tear. But no, I, I stood up and I prevailed. I kept on, kept it on. I kept on, kept it on. Nick, can you take care of this one for me? Bitcoin, FTX, Nick. Nick Fuentes is Kanye's go-to Nazi. Intelligent Nazi who knows some shit. Nick, you know something about the Talmud? Okay, of course you do. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you know something about the Talmud? Last but not least, Confucius was born back in the B.C.s. The expulsion of King Tarquin was 508 B.C. And David, king of the Israelites, that was 1000 B.C. David, you know how he became king of the Israelites? He took that slingshot. <laughs> Pow! Hit Goliath right in the kisser. I'm going to send you to the moon, Goliath. I'm going to send you to the moon, Goliath, said King David. Took that slingshot. That's Antifa. That's anti-fascism. What, Goliath? You think what? Because you're big. Might is right. You think that what? Might is right, David? Is that what? Or Goliath? Nah. I'm on the side of King David when it comes to that slingshot battle. You're goddamn right I am. And he's like one of the oldest. I get Gilgamesh. When was Gilgamesh? He's like the first historical hero. How can you not like... King David. What's the hate about a King David? Oh, adultery. Well, okay. So there's there's some things. But when he took out Goliath, that's what anti-fascism is. Anti-fascism is a 500 pound rock inside that slingshot. Anti-fascism is everybody standing up together and saying no more. Anti-fascism is freedom. 
anti-fascism as the Americans. On, during World War II, that's a good question. Which side would you have been on during World War II? Would you have been on the side of the fascist or the anti-fascist? Are you an American or are you a fascist? 